You say 583? I copy that. Also, North Carolina. Where about to North Carolina are you? We're on the eastern part of North Carolina, there, Timbo. Uh, same here. I'm between Goldsboro and Pikeville. How about yourself? I'm between Goldsboro and actually in Pikeville. There, uh, we might have talked before there, right? It's very likely we have. Uh, let's see. Are you around Belfast? All in Pikeville? Yeah, ten four. They call me the worm usually there, right? Oh well hell, where am I here? You're kinda of long clear. This is two thirty one. I we've talked before. I didn't realize it was you, I'm sorry. Yeah, we talked plenty of times there. You sounded good tonight there, right? Yeah, I finally got my base station set up. Good. Hey, I'm gonna turn the amplifier off real quick. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where you're at now. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I thought the worm was there across the fire department. Gotcha. Hey, uh, worm, you still got me? How uh, uh, am I getting through to you pretty good? Because I don't have the amplifier on anymore. Yeah, you're getting through to me, no problem. Okay, I didn't know how what the signal was. Yes, uh, I got about five swing and seven on you there. Uh, you said the five to seven? Yeah, ten four. Well, I got nine on you. How about now? I just turned the amplifier back on. Okay, good deal. I just just kind of curious to see how it's all working. It's working good, no doubt. Oh, sweet. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, because I just got the antenna put up today and got it all adjusted and and uh, put this in the house here. Ten four. What you talking on? Well, I got a General Lee uh, radio. Uh, it feeds into a Texas Star DX500. It's got Toshiba 2879s on it. Uh, that's been fed by my Astron RS70 amp uh, power supply. And it all goes out to a Maco V58 antenna I have out in the backyard. Copy. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Uh, like I said, I, I just got the set it up today uh, i had the ring backwards so it was giving me a high swr and i took it down and redid it and put it back up and took another reading it seemed to work pretty good yeah it's working good no doubt working real good yeah as a matter of fact i get you better now than i did on the mobile so now we can talk more often that's pretty cool Hey, just a little muffled, but other than that, I copied you. Where were you asking me there, little worm? Well, I'm between Pikeville and uh, Goldsboro off of Wayne Memorial. Uh, it's a Mac OV 5.8 antenna. Okay, good deal. I don't have the antenna very high in the air either. I think the feed point's maybe 15 feet, but it's the best I could do for the time. Well, good, man. I appreciate it. And like I said, I hope to try to get on here just a little bit more now that I got this uh, base set up. I can sit in the house and talk. Yes, sir. We talk on 17 all the time. Yeah, I was just on 17 a minute ago. Uh, I had talked to Early Bird earlier, and... Uh, just kind of wanted to see who else was out there. I know there used to be some locals on 20 out here every morning. I don't hear them anymore. Okay. 
Yeah, like I said, I, I uh, used to hear them every morning. I, don't, I haven't heard them in a good while, but yeah, uh, I keep it on 17. I think I've heard somebody talk on one. It was local, too. Early bird, you got it on? Break for the early bird. Break for the early bird. You got it on there? Was that 106 I just heard? Yeah, it's 106. Yeah, where you at, man? Yeah, I'm over here and uh, pretty close to the hunter, damn boy. You're close to where? Uh, over here close towards uh, the hunter. Oh, okay, Nahana, copy. Yeah, I copy you from Nahana. All right, good deal. Good to talk to you. That's 231. Hopefully you catch me again. I don't got the amplifier on, but I thought I'd just say go away. I appreciate the flowers. Yeah, 428 in the honey. How you doing this evening? 231 over here between Goldsboro and Pikeville. Ah, uh, well, thanks. Uh, same here on this end. Appreciate the comeback. <laughs> now I just need to get the tube amplifier and the tube radio hooked up, and we can try those two. Can't wait. You can drive them tubes a whole lot better. You can drive them tubes. Yeah. Like I said, I got four tuber and then... Uh, a tube ready to go with it, so I'm looking to get it on too. What's that? Yeah, I am. But I do CB, obviously. Like to me, the radio is radio. I don't, I don't, you know, look down on nobody that does CB and no, no ham and vice versa. Yeah, it sounds all right. Just a little over modulated. Now it needs to be brought up on modulation. Plus, sounds like you got a little bit of uh, 60 hertz hum in there. Yeah, it is. Like a power supply or something. I got a load. A couple fellas up there on side Yeah, go ahead. There's a couple fellows on 38 there up on the lower side. I don't know where one guy is, but the other guy in Texas. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have my sideband radio hooked up, or I'd try to give them a shot. But I appreciate that, though. Maybe one of these days I'll get around and getting it in there, too. <laughs> I got too many dang on radios and uh, not enough place to put them all. Yeah, I keep forgetting that generally they don't, they don't have sideband. That's true. It's just AM and FM. I've only got two sideband radios, McKinley and that uh, unit in PC-122. Hey, Roger. What you been up 
noise that thing brings in. I'll be back in just a second. 